This is Blazers All Access, an inside look at UAB basketball with head coach Andy Kennedy. Blazers All Access is presented by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System, and by Mountain Dew. Do the do. Here's the voice of the Blazers, David Crane. Tourney time is here, and the green and gold are heading to Frisco on a four-game winning streak. We welcome you to the final Blazers all-access of the season with head coach Andy Kennedy. I'm David Crane. Coach, to close things out last week, first up a visit to Hattiesburg on Wednesday for the final road game. Southern Miss was without one of their key contributors but a great shooting night again from behind the arc helped you build as much as a 22 second half, 22 point second half lead. Well, after the Texas sweep of knocking off UTSA and UTEP, we were, we were having some momentum. It's the first time all year that we were able to capitalize on that momentum, winning three straight on the road with the victory against Southern Miss. But we had a lot to play for, as you well know. We knew going in that if we won that game, Regardless of what happened in the finale against Louisiana Tech, we were going to lock up the double bye and the two seed uh, for Conference USA Tournament. So our guys understood what was at stake and, and certainly went in and took care of business. You were up 44-32 at the half, and you played awfully well defensively in the second half. You held the Golden Eagles to under 39% shooting after intermission. Yeah, our, our defense has been, been playing well. We're, we're staying connected. We're not necessarily turning people over in the full court as we once were through our pressures, but our half court D has been really good. It was great to see our defense igniting our offense. And as you said, it allowed us to get out in the open floor. They did a good job, I thought, early against Jelly. Jelly got going in the second half, and Mike Hurdle was terrific knocking down six big threes. You did a great job on the glass, plus 11 in rebounding, plus eight on the offensive end, thanks to Trey Jemison, Ronji Gordon, Quan Jackson, K.J. Buffett. Seemed like everybody was getting in on the air. Yeah, you know, we're, we're a group that uh, is in one of the tops in the country in offensive rebound percentage. We get about 33 34% of our misses, which, again, I think is in the top 30 in the country. And, and that's a tribute to uh, Trey, the mentality, K.J. Quan has been terrific off our offensive glass. We really challenged him when, when, when Josh LeBlanc went down. And that there's rebounds to be had, man. Go pursue the ball. Use the same instincts which allow you to be a great defender to, uh, to get that ball and, and give a second chance points, and he's certainly done that. Blazers led for almost 35 minutes of game time and swept the season series from Southern Miss with an 81-68 win at Reed Green Coliseum. Jemison spins into the paint, right hand, hook shot, sits and falls for two, score it. And a foul. And gets it ahead to Jordan Walker, left of the lane, 15-foot jumper up and good. He still threw it. Mike Ertle spotting up in the near corner for a three and buries it. Walker to the left corner. He'll step back a long two up and good. Pushes it into the front court left to right. Stops on the far wing. Three ball up and good. Ahead to Brown. Back to Ertle. Left of the circle. Long three up and good. Blazers keep it alive. Brown in the right corner. Knocks down the three-pointer. D3 from the beak of the Golden Eagle logo. He knocks it down. His third APS three. Back iron no good. Rebound. Comes down to Taven Lovin. Cutting to the bucket for the easy lay-in. Walker driving the left side. He'll lay it up through traffic and get it to go. Dribbles between the legs. Feeds to a cutting tray. Jemison for the two-hand slam. Going down the left of the lane. He'll scoop it up and have enough English to get it to go. Jackson feeds it into Gordon. Back to Jackson. The give and go. He'll lay it in. Works through traffic. Kicks it in the right corner to Buffin for a three. Good. Ertle ahead to Buffin. Two on one to Jackson. And he'll throw it down with the right hand. Second half. Walker top of the wheel. Left alone. His three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Open three. 47-37. Mike Ertle all alone in the corner. His three up and good. The highlights are brought to you by Viva Health. You weren't thinking about a Medicare plan back then, but at Viva Medicare, it's been on our mind for a long time. And we know a thing or two about making Medicare easy. That's why our plans have $0 co-pays for primary care physician visits. So when the time comes to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that focuses on the things you're passionate about, we'll be here for you. Viva Medicare. Enjoy life without the worry. Learn more at vivahealth.com slash Medicare. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package at the end of the day is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy. 
The regular season finale was Saturday here in Birmingham. Senior Day brought Louisiana Tech to town. And, Coach, you were able to honor three players prior to tip off of that matchup. Senior Day is always special, and you certainly want it to end well. Thankfully for us, it did. Justin Brown, who has come here just for the one year but made a solid contribution, really thankful for – uh, his contributions to our program in the one season. But then you got a guy like Mike Ertle and Quan Jackson, two guys that when I get the job uh, were the first two guys that said, hey, they wanted to be a part of this transformation. Uh, we won 22 last year and 13 in league. We're sitting at 24 and 14 in league. Those guys have been so instrumental in helping us turn the tide as it relates to getting UAB basketball back to the Gene Bartow standard. You are also gunning for a sweep of the Bulldogs after winning down in Ruston for the first time, but you knew you would have to try to handle Kenneth Lofton. Man, what a what an animal he is, isn't he? <laughs> I, I've never tried to block Reggie White, but I can <laughs> I can imagine that's what it feels like. This, this I, I thought Trey Jemison did a tremendous job offensively. Trey was going with him blow for blow, and I mean that quite literally. Trey ends up with 16 and nine, goes eight for nine from the field, was doing a great job of finishing some plays at the basket because we were trying to put Lofton in some ball screen coverages and get him away from the basket. And yet you still look up and, and the big boy had 20 and 10 with four assists. And I thought, again, we did about as good a job as you can do defending him. He is just such a load inside. You'll remember this name. You weren't doing UAB at the time, but a guy named Danny Fortson at Cincinnati, a great kind of below the rim guy, a uh, bully in the kindest sense of the word, incredible player close to the basket, and that's who Lofton reminds me of. It was a back and forth first half, but a big sequence in the closing second sent you to the locker room with a 39-36 lead and some momentum. Well, uh, Jelly picks up his second foul off an offensive foul. Kobe Williams uh, defending him, an all-defensive uh, league caliber guy. Did a good job of estimating where Jelly was going to cut on an inline OB. Got the charge, it was the right call. So I take Jelly out, I put Tony Tony in. We miss a shot, fast break opportunity. Tony knocks it down. We then come back and I, I'm smart enough to use the use it or lose it timeout. I got Jelly back in and he rose up and hit a big shot. Shot the lights out in the second half, 68% from the field, but layups and dunks are higher percentage shots. They are, they? you know what, again, defensively, we were able to mix and match and got them off uh, rhythm a little bit. I thought our 1-3-1 our one, one defense was, was instrumental down the stretch of slowing them down. We were up 14, kind of cruising, then had a, a, a little bit of a, of a freeze mentally. They scored seven straight points, but we responded. Huge play in the open floor, breaking their pressure. K.J. Buffin, our, our power forward, initiating the break and throwing the alley-oop to Trey, which, which ultimately sealed the deal. And able to send the seniors out in style. 87-74 the final over Louisiana Tech at Bartow Arena. Ron Gordon didn't have numbers. He'll whip it into the paint. Jemison lays it up and in. Ronji Gordon, the rebound though. Kick out to Ertle, left corner, three, good. Bounces to Buffin above the foul line. Fakes, drives, puts up a runner off the glass. Good, and a foul. Ball bounces left side to Bradford. Skip pass in the near corner, three, up and blocked away by KJ Buffin. 19, Tech with their first lead. Walker whips it underneath to Buffin for the easy slam. One dribble and a flip, deflected, stolen. Quan Jackson going to the other end, the two-hand slam. Tech back out in front. Walker, catch and shoot three, near wing, up and good. Scooped up by Walker on the run. Into the front court, he'll stop and pop a three, and hit it. No good, Lofton clears. Outlet pass to Willis, running to the bucket, he'll lay it up, got it blocked by Tony Tony. Seven now to play in the half, inbounds Walker. Deep three, right side, got it! As the first half comes to an end. Right baseline, he'll drive, he'll dish to Jemison. Pivots in the paint, right hand, hook shot up and good. Oh. And right, lobbing, Jemison caught it. Works it, back. right hand, hook shot up and good. Lofton got his dunk attempt blocked by Jemison. Taken by UAB, Walker to Jackson, lays it up and in. They get it ahead, Quan Jackson spinning left of the lane. He'll drive, he'll scoop it up and get it to go. Walker right side, pull up, three is good. He'll drive it to the other end. He'll lob to Jemison, who throws it down. Great play, K.J. Buffett. The highlights are brought to you by Mountain Dew. Legacy is what you do every day. We try not only to help people with their financial legacies, we hope that we enrich their lives and help them become better people so that that total package at the end of the day is something they can be proud of. We help them craft their legacy.
This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. Blazers finished the regular season 24-7 overall, 14-4 in Conference USA. As we said, good for second place in the West Division. Here, look at the Children's of Alabama stats. For the games last week, a really good shooting week, especially from the field and definitely from behind the arc, out-rebound the opposition substantially in those two ball games. Good assist to turnover ratio, all those adding up to two wins. And coach, kind of all about the three-point line for you. You averaged 11 made threes in your last three ball games. When Mike Earl is shooting the ball the way he has in the last two games, he's uh, 11 for 18 from behind the arc. Jelly's been solid all year in the league play over 40%. And then we, we don't have heavy volume guys other than those two. So when those two are really shooting it well, again, Jelly has for the majority of the season. Mike's really on a great uh, streak. And then we mix and match a Justin Brown here, uh, K.J. Buffin there, Jamal Johnson, Tony Tony uh, has been timely in his shot making. Last year we were one of the worst in college basketball and in our inability to make threes. We've certainly addressed that issue with this group. And it's helped us get to 24 wins, 14 and 4 in this league. Quan Jackson had 27 points, 12 rebounds, 5 steals in the two games. Mike Ertle back-to-back 20-point games, as we said, 11 made threes. We get to talk about two difference makers this week. The first one, Trey Jemison, 8 points, 12 boards against Southern Miss, but 16 and 9 against Louisiana Tech, and I would argue that's his best performance as a Blazer. I would, uh, I would not argue with you uh, in that regard. I, I thought it was tremendous. Again, we, we wanted to put Trey as the screener to engage Lofton in high ball screens. Sometimes when he's so big and so strong, when he's lumbering to that rim, he has a tendency to be out of control, miss some maybe some chippies, but also get into some foul trouble. He was so solid, and he was finishing the plays. Jelly was doing a great job of delivering it. Eight for nine, what more can you ask? And I thought his defensive pressure versus Lofton was a huge key in the game. Jordan Walker, 45 points, 13 assists in the two games. He was a little more efficient for you in the in the Louisiana Tech game shooting the basketball. Jelly's been tremendous all season. Uh, really proud of the impact that he's had on this program. And, uh, and justifiably so, he's going to be – uh, the third Conference USA Player of the Year, the third player of the year uh, in the history of this program. I, it was shocking to me when, when I started looking at that. Oliver Robinson was the player of the year back in the old Sun Belt days. I obviously was robbed. I should have been. But, but uh, <laughs> right at the end, I mean, a, a, a hanging Chad must have been. Uh, and then AJ. You know, I was a little surprised that Steve Mitchell had never been honored as player of the year. What a great player. But as you look back, uh, Jelly, what a terrific honor. Certainly earned uh, with his play on the court. And uh, hopefully the best is yet to come. This segment of Blazers All Access is sponsored by Regions Bank. up there better wake up the seamstress they're about to get some company because this is a revival this segment of blazers all access is sponsored by legacy credit union so it's off to Frisco for the Conference USA Tournament this week. Second place finish in the division. Earned you a double bye, no game until Thursday night. How do you spend the little extra time you're going to have in Frisco before you play that first game? Well, we're, we're getting out there Tuesday. We'll practice. It, it's hard to really have game prep because you don't know who you're going to play. And then Wednesday, we'll practice again just to make sure that we're in tune to our best version of self. It's really been our mantra all year. We'll then have an opportunity to live scout, you know, get our guys in the building. Uh, FAU will play the winner of Southern Miss and UTSA on Wednesday night late. So we'll have a chance to see some of that. And then uh, Thursday will be a long day. But uh, if, if I'm being honest, our guys' energy level is probably much better at 8.30 p.m. than 8.30 a.m. So at least it's a, a late night game, not an early morning game. You went eight and one against the teams in your half of the bracket. You touched on some, some live scouting. How do you and the coaches go about tournament scouting? It's a little different than the regular season. Well, it is it? because of quick turns, and that's why you really just got to be focused on yourself. It's going to be hard to make a lot of adjustments game in and game out. But we've, we have uh, familiarity 
because we have played all these teams. There really are no secrets at this time of the year. It's just who can execute, who can be the best version of themselves when the best version is needed. You want a trophy, you want a trip to the NCAA tournament. You know what you have to do. Does that help you in any way as you prepare for this run? I don't, I don't think there's any question. We're playing good basketball. We're on a four-game winning streak. We know what we're capable of. Uh, the guys in my locker room feel they're the best team in Conference USA, and this tournament gives us an opportunity to show and prove. Uh, can we get it done? And uh, I'm anxious to see uh, how we perform. It's been another fantastic season. We have enjoyed every minute of it. Thanks for the time. Thank you, David. For head coach Andy Kennedy and all of us at the Blazers Sports Network, I'm David Crane. We also appreciate Down in Front Productions for making the show happen each week, and we thank you for tuning in. Follow the green and gold through what we hope is a long and successful postseason run and be back with us in the fall for Blazers All Access. Blazers All Access has been presented by Mountain Dew, Do the Dew, and by Viva Health, part of the UAB Health System. This has been a presentation of the Blazer Sports Network from Learfield IMG College.